Hi there, I'm Gerard. Welcome to Learn Delphi. In the last few lessons we learned how to make decisions with if statements that use relational operators. But now we will learn how to use logical operators to make decisions. We already started the project in the last lesson that we will finish today. This is how the solution will work after we finished it. Four rugby playing countries in the Southern Hemisphere battle it out every year for the Rugby Championship trophy. These countries are New Zealand, Argentina, Australia and the current World Cup champions, South Africa. Each team is known by a name. Argentina is Las Pumas, Australia is the Wallabies, New Zealand is the All Blacks and South Africa is the Springboks. Our application lists these four countries in two combo boxes. Last time we only set up the behavior of the two combo boxes, but we will do the rest of the code today. An image component shows a default picture of the Rugby Championship logo when the program starts up. The opponent combo box is initially disabled. You must select the name of a country in this combo box. When you select a country here, the combo box on the right side will be enabled and you will then be allowed to select an opponent. If you select the same country from both combo boxes, a picture must show that it is not allowed. If you select a prompt here on the left side, everything must reset to the way it was. The opponent combo box must reset to show the first item, which is also a prompt, and it must be disabled again. The rugby championship picture must also display again. That's the part we coded last time, but let me also show you how the complete solution will work when we finish it today. If you select one of the four countries in this combo box, and a valid opponent from this one, the picture must change to the emblem of the two teams that will play against each other. Argentina against Australia shows Las Pumas versus Wallabies. Argentina against New Zealand shows Las Pumas versus All Blacks. Argentina against South Africa must display Las Pumas versus Springboks. Australia against New Zealand shows Wallabies versus All Blacks. Australia against South Africa must display Wallabies versus Springboks. New Zealand against South Africa must display All Blacks versus Springboks. The same pictures will also be used if the names are the other way around. If you are new here and you want to do the project with me, you will find the link in the description below this video that will take you to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash learndelphi. Go download the starter files and come back here and write the code with me. You will also find the link to Embargadero's download page where you can download Delphi 10.3 Community Edition for free. I am also using it for these lessons. So pause the video and go and do the downloads. And then open the starter project files and come back here and finish the project with me. Let's kick off. This is the starter project that you can download. Before we start the project, in the files that you downloaded, you will also find an additional folder called Teams. I included all the picture files that we need for this project in the Teams folder. And they are all PNG files. Notice how I named the files. That will be important later when we reference these names in code. If you have your starter project open in Delphi, start by double clicking the combo box on the left side of the form. The name of the combo box is CBO Country. This event handler will be executed every time you change the selection in the combo box named CBO Country. The country you select from this combo box will be used in both combo boxes. So last time we declared a string variable under the implementation clause to make it accessible to the event handlers of both combo boxes. We also store the path to the Teams folder that contains all our pictures. The path will stay the same and it will be used throughout our application. So we also declared it here to make it visible to all the event handlers. And because it stays the same, we declare it as a constant. We already added all this code for the event handler that handles the unchanged event of CBO country. We explore two different techniques to decide if the opponent combo box on the right side of the form must be enabled or disabled. So we commented these statements so that only one technique is used at a time. In the event handler for the unchanged event of CBO opponent, we already added code that must check if the selected values in both combo boxes are the same. If so, a picture must show that indicates that it is not allowed. If you don't understand this code, go back to the lesson that we did last time and first watch that video. Let's see how it works so far. Run the program. First view the user interface. Notice the default picture and the opponent combo box that is disabled. Select a country on the left side. 
Now the combo box on the right is enabled. Select the same country on the right side. You must get this picture. Select a different opponent. You will get an error message because we don't have code for that yet. And that is the code that we will do today. Now select the first item in the country combo box on the left. The user interface must reset. The default picture must show and the opponent combo box must return to its original state. Close the form. This code here at the bottom will always execute. We point to the path and the file name of the picture that we want to display. That's why we got an error message when we selected an opponent that we didn't write code for yet. Our if statement only provides for a condition where the two values in the combo boxes are the same. And we do it here with the equals operator. We must now add more conditions. First remove the terminator from the back of the end statement. Go to the next line and type else followed by an if and a space. Over type true with str country equals Argentina and str opponent equals Australia. Here we see Delphi already cries about the syntax. The compiler doesn't know whether to evaluate this condition or this one. Or maybe this. Or must it be the whole part? The AND operator has an operand on its left and another operand on its right. Both sides are also conditional expressions and that confuses the compiler. In the next lesson, we will learn how to simplify these compound boolean expressions. But to make the compiler happy now, we will place the operands between brackets. Open a bracket here in the front of the expression and close it here. And do the same with the operand on the right side of the AND operator. Now the compiler stopped crying. The AND operator is a logical operator. Just like relational operators, a logical operator also helps us to make decisions in code. They also evaluate true and false expressions. The AND operator will check that the operands on both sides evaluate to true. If one of the operands evaluate to false, then the whole condition will be false. If both evaluate to false, the whole condition will also be false. Another logical operator is OR. The OR operator evaluates that at least one of the operands are true. It doesn't matter which one. As long as one or both are true, the whole condition will be true. If both are false, the whole expression will be false. Another operator that we can use is XOR or exclusive OR. This logical operator checks that the operands are mutually exclusive. Only one of the operands must be true. It doesn't matter which one, as long as only one is true. If both are true, or both are false, the whole condition will be false. A team can't win or lose at the same time, and the team can't win and lose at the same time. So an exclusive OR will ensure that you can only win, or you can only lose. So here we evaluate if the country is Argentina and the opponent is Australia. So no partial truth and no other options. Go to the next line and type begin. Between begin and end type str file name colon equals las pumas versus wallabies.png. We assign the file name of this picture to the string variable. That will then be concatenated with the file path, which is the constant we declared earlier. And then it will be used to load the picture that must display for IMG teams. Run the program. Select Argentina from the left combo box and Australia from the right. The picture for Las Pumas versus Wallabies must display. Now select Australia on the left and Argentina on the right. You get an error message because we don't have a condition that checks the country names in reverse. Click OK to close the error message and close the form. We must use the same picture if the country names are selected the other way around. Put your insertion point in front of then, type OR. We don't want to confuse the compiler again, so we will put the operands for the OR operator between brackets. Type an open bracket and type STR country equals Australia and the close bracket. Followed by AND, then also between brackets STR opponent equals Argentina. Let's test it now. Run the program. Select Argentina on the left and Australia on the right. Make sure the correct picture displays. Now select Australia on the left. 
see how the user interface resets to the default. Select Argentina on the right. The same picture must display for these two teams. Close the form. Let's split this line in two. Put your cursor in front of the OR operator and press Enter. You can now indent this line to align the code nicely. Now look how interesting this is. Here we have a condition and here we have a condition. Both must evaluate to true for this end to also evaluate to true. And here we also have a condition and another one here. Both must also evaluate to true for this end to also evaluate to true. Then the result of these two expressions will be the operands on the left and on the right of the OR operator. Only one or both of these operands must be true for this if statement to be true, because we use OR. Let's do another one. Remove the terminator after end and on the next line type else followed by if. Over type true with str country equals Argentina between brackets and str opponent equals New Zealand also between brackets. Take the rest over to the next line and type an OR operator and type the rest of the conditions by just swapping the two country names like you did in the previous if statement. Go to the next line and type begin. Between begin and end type str file name colon equals las pumas versus all blacks dot png. Run the application. Select Argentina on the left and New Zealand on the right. You must get this picture now. Select New Zealand on the left and Argentina on the right. You must get the same picture. Close the form. I'm going to speed it up now. You can pause the video if it goes too fast. Always remember to remove the terminator after the last if block before adding another block. I will just copy the previous block and paste it here. Then change the names of the countries. This one will be Argentina against South Africa. Also remember to change the file name to the correct picture. You can test it before you continue with the next if statement. But make sure you put the terminator back before you compile the application. After testing it, go back to your code, remove the terminator again and do the same all over. This is Australia against New Zealand. And again, Australia against South Africa. And the last matchup will be New Zealand against South Africa. After all the possible conditions, let's end it off with a final else statement. I don't expect anything else to happen here. But just in case, we will display the error picture again. Now test your code, run the application, test all the possible combinations and make sure they are all correct. When you are done, you can save the project. Before we conclude, I want to make it clear. We can do the same thing in many different ways. Some solutions may use less code and others may use item indexes instead of text properties in the combo boxes. We can also use sets to simplify compound boolean expressions or we can use case statements which we will explore in the next few lessons. The idea here was to focus on a specific lesson and that is logical operators with if statements. Next time we will learn how to simplify compound boolean expressions in an if statement with sets. If you enjoyed this lesson, please like, subscribe and share my lessons with all your friends. Thank you for watching and a big thank you to my Patreons on patreon.com slash learndelphi. Happy coding and I'll see you next time.